In this video, I will demonstrate how to use a Lucy chart to create ER diagram and then export the SQL to create a database in MySQL. So to begin with, I want to show you this campground example that I made. So the business rules goes the system stores camper spots information and the camper can reserve a spot on a specific day for a number of nights and the camper can reserve many spots. A spot can be reserved by many campers on different dates. So you can see that between camper and spot, it's a many-to-many -many relationship. Therefore, we introduce a reservation associative entity between them. So from camper to reservation, it's optional many. That means a camper can make zero or uh, many reservations. Um, the reservation to camper is mandatory one. That means if there's a reservation existing, it must be booked to buy a camper. From spots to reservations option many, that means um, a spot can be reserved by many reservations on different dates. And from reservation to spots is mandatory one. That means if a reservation exists, there must be a spot being booked. So um, we designed this database. We have three tables, camper, spots, and reservation. We have camper number as the PK for primary key, spot number as PK for the spots table. And for reservation, we use the reservation number as the primary key. And alternatively, we could use the date, spot number, and camper number uh, as a combined primary key. But for simplicity, we just use the reservation number as a primary key. And we're going to use the spot numbers and campers number as the foreign key. So we're going to need the referential integrity rules um, to establish the relationship among these three um, tables that is to match the foreign key with the primary key. So I have an normalized data like here you can see many redundancies. Uh, this is because this one table contains all three entities information. It contains campers information, reservation, and spots. So you see that uh, some people have, like William has three reservations. Um, so his information is duplicated, including the address and email, etc. So when we normalize the data and populate into our uh, database structure, it become much uh, simpler. So we see we have five campers. Three of them have had make reservations. And we have four spots and three spots had been booked before. So this is our reservation table. Um, so now let's jump into Lucy chart to create this um, ERD for this database. So in Lucy chart, we can create new and um, we can create the from template and select the database diagrams and select the ER diagram. And we can just simply use the template. And so it comes as a default, but I would just create from ground up um, because in here I can select different kinds of entity. And I like this one because it has the key, which is you can indicate a primary key or foreign key and the fields name and the data type. So I'm going to click three of them as I have three tables in this database and if you click into each of the uh, entity you will see that the advanced options pop up on the right side so let me <clears throat> make it bigger and it's usually better strategy to create the strong entity first. And in our case, the strong entities are independent of other entities, uh, which are um, strong entities will be the camper and the spot. So let's start with the camper. So I can click into um, <clears throat> and click into the title of the ER diagram. I can call it my <clears throat> campground 
tagle. And then I can click into the entity name and to name it camper. And my usually we put the PK first. And so in Lucy chart, we just use PK and that would let Lucy chart know that we want this field to be the PK. So um, use camper. Now it's getting crowded, so you can highlight it and drag the corner and make it longer. If you um, have a primary key uh, identifier, usually you would make it as an integer. And what else can go into that can be the camper last name and the face first name as well. As you can see, I've come to the end of this row and it's actually very simple to add a new field or a new row here uh, is that we with this ta table or entity highlighted and we can click on um, what well, we with this row highlighted, uh, we can click on below and multiple fields like that. Uh, and then so for here, it's a string type. So I use block car and I can use 50. So um, when you highlight the chart, not only you can make it wider, but also you can make a column if you um, mouse over the corner like this, you can make certain column wider as well. So I can copy and paste. So, and then I just go ahead and create all the fields and primary keys that way. <clears throat> and then for the foreign keys, if uh, we are in the reservation table, um, and for foreign key, sometime in here later, and I'll just use FK. And so in this case, we have the camper ID, uh, camper number, and the spot number. So we have those um, as the foreign key, so we just use the um, FK to indicate that. So just a note. So to save time, I'm going to show you um, that I already created that um, diagram with the entities. Uh, so it's a little bit tricky here when you open a saved diagram. Uh, it looks empty, but um, it's actually the previously created chart is here. Uh, so I have the uh, I can remove the relationship. So I show you how to create the entities alone and PKs and FKs, fields name and their data type. So now uh, we're going to create the relationship. So from um, Camper, so we can start from the PK spot. And so this is very important because we have the PK Camper number that needs to match the camper number in reservation. So you're gonna uh, mouse over this dot <clears throat> and just drag it to the dot that coordinates with the camper number in the reservation table. So um, you can see that the internet engineering or IE notations like a crawl feed. Uh, so this indicates the uh, from reservation to camper is mandatory one relationship you see um, a strike here. So if you need to change that, you can highlight this relationship and change over here as needed. Um, similar from uh, camper to reservation, use the crawl feed here. This means that it's um, one to many relationship. But in this case, we want to uh, change it to optional many relationships. So that zero means that a camper may not have a reservation yet. It's just simply registered. So um, this is how a business rule defined. So one more thing is that because we're not using the camper number as the uh, part of the primary key, 
but instead as a foreign key, we call this relationship a non-identifying relationship. So uh, that in IE notation is a dotted line instead of a solid line. So we can change into dotted line over here. And we can also click into this relationship um, line and to give it a description. So in this case, camper makes reservation. So similarly from the spot, we can drag from the PK spot into the spot number FK in the reservation. And we can change the um, many side into option many. That means a spot may not be reserved yet. Um, and there's also a non-identifying relationship. <coughs> And also we can click into it to give a description, be reserved. So there we go. We create a relationship um, between the entities. <clears throat> so you could um, at this point uh, save a copy of the diagram. Also you can um, or export as a PDF or JPEG and to submit with your report. Uh, you can also um, export the SQL um, that has slightly different, may have slightly different syntax that accommodating different kind of DBMS. So in this case, I want to run it in and to create my database in my SQL. So I select this and copy the script. So the script starts with creating the table camper and with uh, the field's name and data type specified. And then it also specify the primary key and the indexes. And then it goes on to create a spot and always a good practice to create the independent or strong entity first. And um, because of that dependency of the foreign key uh, primary key match. And so here we have the primary key spot number as well. So afterwards we would have the reservation um, table and also has a primary key indicated. And what's interesting is that you can see that it actually added the foreign key uh, referential integrity in here. Um, but if we are not running it smoothly in MySQL, like in my experience that was the case, then we can take this out and later use the alter entity to enter those uh, fields, okay? Um, so we can copy and run it uh, in the SQL Server. So um, actually in the MySQL Server. So MySQL is actually very easy to install on Mac as I'm using a Mac. So there's this um, application called MEMP and which is sh short abbreviation for uh, Mac OS, A for Apache Web Server, M for MySQL, and P for PHP, which is a web scripting language. So after you install that, and that's for free, um, Pro is for a fee for advanced features, but free is good enough for our purpose. And we click the web start, and in the web start under the MySQL section, and there's actually a nice little interface um, Web um, web app with the nice interface that you can access your MySQL database. It's called PHP My Admin. So if you click that link, you can see that it's very easy um, to use compared to like terminal. And here you can run SQL. It has some um, system database already come with, but it doesn't have our campground database yet. So we're gonna run the SQL we'll copy and paste. Uh, in here. So before we get all started, um, we do have to indicate the database name um, that we want to create. So there is the extra, some extra SQL you're going to create, uh, which is to indicate this is the, this is the SQL comments, and then this is the SQL command, and we want to create a database um, called campground. And then following that, we can copy the, um, the scripts for creating the um, tables uh, that we get from Lucy chart. Uh, but also I manually added uh, populating the data 
from the Excel spreadsheet. And so in the reservation table, we're going to not running yet our foreign keys um, uh, constraint. Um, so to make sure that the pop data populated correctly and my data is good and matching the uh, foreign key and um, primary key rules as in I wouldn't have a uh, camper that doesn't exist but uh, in the camper uh, table by existing reservation. So that's a conflict, right? So I don't have that situation. All the 1,000, 1,001, 1,002 actually exist in the camper um, database. I mean, ta uh, table. So uh, when we're ready, we want to run it. And all green is a very good um, message. So if we refresh, and we will be able to see the campground being created and the camper has the data of four campers and we have five reservations and we have four camping spots. Uh, if you click um, expand the camper, you will be able to see the design by clicking the columns and we can see the primary keys with a golden key icon here and we can see the um, data type. Of course, I changed it a little bit um, in my SQL compared to the Lucy chart, but whatever you specify in the SQL. And uh, in the reservation, we can see we have the foreign keys, um, but they are not with any key icon. So foreign key is supposed to have the silver icon, but because remember we take out that um, referential uh, syntax from the, um, I mean referential SQL from the creating table, but we're going to add that. So in SQL, what we're going to do is that we're going to use the um, alter command in SQL to change the structure and add the foreign key. So um, now that I have my campground database uh, created, I need to use the um, database before I run the alter. And then I alter the table reservation, adding the constraint foreign key uh, called uh, spot for the spot number and matching the stop spots number in the reservation with the spot number in the spot table. And similarly for the camper number as well. Uh, you could combine them, you know, use the comma, but this is also very clear and clean. So let's run that and it shows that it successfully created that. So that, now let's take a look at the reservations column. Uh, so we can see the silver key that indicates the foreign key successfully created for the spot number and the camper number and their value has to match the um, existing ones in the camper table and the spots table. So that's what we say that we complete the um, database creation with the entities, their fields, data types, their primary keys and foreign keys, their relationships um, from Lucy chart to uh, MySQL database uh, application.